manufacturing special products. All right, so the first type of special product we're looking for is a perfect square trinomial. Perfect square trinomial. Perfect square trinomial. First question, perfect square. What is a perfect square? There's a list of perfect squares you should have had memorized. I'll start you off. The first one is one. The next one is four. The next is nine. 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81. I go to 121. <laughs> You, 144 sometimes you use, right? You need to have these memorized. This is a key part of seventh grade. One times one is one, two times two is four, three times three is nine, four times four is 16, five times five is 25, six times six, right? Perfect squares. Having these memorized, recalling them from your memory from last year will help tremendously tonight. Because what you look for is these are the questions you ask yourself. Not is, are. The first and third terms perfect squares. So you look at the problem and you say, okay, is the first term and is the third term, are they both perfect squares? And if you say yes, you keep going. Are the first and the third terms perfect squares? If you say yes, you move on to, is the middle term Two times the first and third terms factors. So question number one. Are the first and the third term perfect squares? If you say yes, then we'll move on. Is the middle term, term number two, two times the first and the third terms factors? So let's practice. 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. Is the first term a perfect square? Yes. Yeah, because 9 is a perfect square, and is x squared a perfect square? So I can factor this into 3x times 3x. 3 times 3 is 9, x times x is x squared. It's a perfect square. Is 4 a perfect square? What? 2 times 2. 2 times 2. 
So step number one, question one. Are the first and the third terms perfect squares? Yes. So I can now move on to question two. Is the middle term two times the first and the third terms factors? So I'm gonna do two times, what's the first factor? 3x. And what's the third factor? Two. And it's always this. Two times the first and the third. So let's see. Two times 3x. 6x. Times 2. 12x. So does it work? Yes. So my answer is x. 3x plus 2 squared. Now, if you say, I don't get it, I don't want to learn this way, could you do the x box? Yes. Would you get the same answer? Yes. This is a trick. It makes it faster. It's a little less work. Let's try another one. X squared plus 12X plus 36. Are the first and the third perfect squares? Yes. So let's look at the first. X squared, is that a perfect square? Yes. How do you get X squared? x times x. And if you take the same thing times itself, it's a perfect square. Is 36 a perfect square? What times what? 6 times 6. All right, let's try the middle. What's my rule for the middle? 2 always 2, times the first, which is x, times the third factor, which is 6. 2 times x times 6. Does it equal 12x? So does this trick work for this problem? I'm going to take x plus 6 and square it. All right, let's try this problem. 4x squared minus 4x minus 1. Is 4x squared a perfect square? How do you get 4? 2 times 2, and how do you get x squared? x times x, so 2x times 2x. Is negative 1 a perfect square? No. How do you get negative 1? Negative 1 times 1. And are those the same numbers? So no. Negative 1 is not perfect. Yeah, this one can't be factored using a special rule. Right? I mean, sometimes it doesn't work. Let's do one more right over here. 4x squared, I'm changing it, so don't think just because it looks the same at the beginning. Four x squared minus 12 x plus nine. Is the first a perfect square? What times what? Yeah, because 4 is a perfect square, and so is x squared. Is 9 a perfect square? I want you to think about another way to make positive 9. Just think about it. Because now let's do our middle. 
How do you do your middle? Two times the first times the third. Negative 3 times negative 3 also equals positive 9. So 2 times 2x is 4x times negative 3 is negative 12x. So this works. Because this time, instead of saying 2x plus 3, I'm going to say 2x minus 3. Again, if you look at this and you're like, Psh, don't get it, what could you use? You could use the Xbox. There's another one that's just as easy. If you think this is, I think it's easier. All right, so now we're looking for the difference of squares. So if it's not a perfect square trinomial, now we're looking for the difference of squares. Right now we're looking for a perfect square binomial. Perfect square binomial. What is this going to have? What's different about this from the previous problems? There's only two terms. Perfect square trinomial, there were three terms. Perfect square binomial, there are two terms. All right, so rule number one. Are both terms perfect squares? But there's a disclaimer this time. We want to ignore the minus for this right here. Yes, I know that minus belongs to the number. But we're going to, I'm going to show you what it means. And if they are, then we factor one positive and one negative. Okay, ready? change colors so you don't get confused. 1 minus 4x squared. What's the first question? Is it a binomial? Yes. So are they both perfect squares? Ignore the minus. Is 1 a perfect square? 1 times 1. Is 4x squared a perfect square? 2x and 2x. And it says factor one positive and one negative. So one of these needs to be positive and one of them is negative. I don't care which one you make it. And there's your answer. 1 minus 2x and 1 plus 2x. Try another one. Uh, 
This is quite possibly the hardest type of problem you'll come to. How do you make P to the eighth? Do you remember the rule? Do you multiply exponents together or do you add exponents together? So how do you make eight? Is 49 a perfect square? Yeah. How do you make R to the sixth? R. R to the third and R to the third. If it's an even exponent, it's gonna work. If it's an odd exponent, is it gonna work? No. All right. If both terms are perfect squares, ignore the minus, did that, factor one positive and one negative. So I just like to make the first one negative. So what are my two factors? P to the fourth, to the fourth minus 7R to the third, right? Because those are the first ones. And the next factor is P to the fourth plus 7r to the third. This trick, Xbox does not work on. Just so that you don't forget for your homework tonight, 16x squared minus 4y to the third. Is 16x squared perfect? 4x and 4x. Is 4y to the third perfect? No. no, 4 is, but is y to the third? But this could still be factored with a what? What can both be divided by? They can both be divided by 4. You can factor out a greatest common factor, but you don't have to. You're just saying, can you factor it using the rules?